Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be, as you can probably tell by the title of the video, another Disney series collab with Mickey. And again, as you can tell by the title and also maybe by my poor uh, attempt at doing my hair, uh, today we are going to be doing Frozen. Uh, it just sort of seemed like it was the right time with the new movie coming out and also we are getting into those winter months. So up here it is starting to snow in Canada. I'm, now I know Mickey's in California so obviously she doesn't have that down there but uh, up here at least you know the weather starting to turn although today it's raining and it's really gross out so we're gonna forget that a little bit but yeah so we're gonna do Frozen and the other nice thing about doing this movie that is different from every other one that we've done is that lucky enough for us there are two heroines so we both get to partake in being the heroine this week um, I am doing Elsa obviously and she is doing Anna and I've already seen her look it is phenomenal it looks so pretty the details she went into is amazing so definitely check that out I will link it up here and also down below in the description bar as well as links to her channel and to our other videos that we've done in this series so far if you guys want to check those out um, Mickey let me choose which of the two sisters I wanted to do and just because I had the blonde hair and I was like oh yeah I can do that but I mean my hair is nowhere near the white blonde that hers is also I really wanted to wear something that was like glittery and blue and really spoke of Elsa but unfortunately I don't own anything like that um I'm not the most girly person and glitter just kind of gets away from me a lot so instead I decided to do like a big chunky sweater because the whole movie is about winter so it seemed kind of vaguely appropriate um so I did that instead so we're going to get straight into this uh for my face today I did do very very dewy sort of a lighter sheer I don't have quite as much bronzer on as I normally would just because I did want to stay true to her as much as possible for my eye base today I am going to be using this dose of colors ideal duo and it is actually in the color frozen how absolutely appropriate so if you've never seen these before the top is sort of a like primer um it's called loose pigment and primer and the primer is sort of there to hold in place the loose pigment on the bottom which is in this case like a shimmery color we might be using that a little later but for right now I wanted to use this to prime my lids to give me like a nice white shimmery base I do also um as like an alternative to this if you don't have this could use um like a NYX eyeshadow base and this one is in white pearl so it has a similar effect it's just not quite as shimmery as um the dose of colors one that I'm putting on now so when I was thinking of what I wanted to do for this look I had a ton a ton a ton of different ideas different thoughts different things that I couldn't decide exactly where I wanted to go with this look so this is kind of going to evolve as we go, to be honest. I have tons of palettes sitting in front of me with tons of different shades of blues and a little bit of purple because in the movie she does wear purple eyeshadow. So I did want to pay tribute to that a little bit, but as we've sort of said, this is a look inspired by the character altogether, not trying to recreate what they look like in the movie. Um, although you will see bits and pieces of that in this look in particular. So I've got some purples, I've got some blues that we're going to play with here. Um, and yeah, we'll just sort of see where this look goes. So as an all over the lid color sort of base, other than the fact that I've got this on, um, we're going to go into my Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean palette. And I'm going to pick up this color down here. It's Lost at Sea and it's like a light blue with some shimmer in it. So I'm just going to use that and put it all over my lid. And just with the base, the way that it is, how shimmery it is, it's going to add a little bit of extra shine to um, the shadow that I'm putting on top. Okay, so to bring in a little hint of that purple, we're not going to stay crazy true to the purple. I do just want to add a little pop of it. So for the purple... Which one do I want to use? I'm just trying to decide. Okay, I think we're going to use this one from my NYX Ultimate Brights palette. 
uh, right here, just this lighter purple up top. I'm just going to take a like, it is like a crease brush, but it's got a little bit fatter of a end so that it will fluff up a little bit more. So I'm going to pick up some of that purple color, not too, too much. I don't want this to overpower all the blues that we're going to be playing with later. And I am going to sweep that high and into the crease. That way, um, as we layer all of the blues in there, they will cover the majority of the purple. And my hope is that by the end, there will just be like a little bit of purple peeking out over the top of all the blues. So that will kind of um, bring in a little bit of that purple eyeshadow that she's got going in the movie without really getting away from those wintry like blues and silvers that I am uh, full on intending on using for this look. So that's going to be about all the purple we're going to be doing. Um, I just wanted to have a little bit of it in there. So the next color that I think I'm going to take is going to be in my NYX Wind palette. It's like the What's Your Element palette. It's going to be this color right at the top, this blue. This palette to me just screams Elsa. Like there's so many different colors in here that I feel like could be used for her. This blue I'm loving. Um, there's even like little bits of purple throughout it here and here. Um, there's some like this color. It's like a it's got a little bit of like a gold tinge to it, but it's like a white gold, which is absolutely stunning. So probably dip into that as well. Um, and then again, I do have a bunch of pigments sitting in front of me and loose glitters, uh, depending how brave I'm feeling later, depending how this look is evolving. We might get into some of those, but after the disaster that I had last week doing it, I'm not a hundred percent sure I even want to go there. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, so I'm going to take another like crease sort of a brush and we're going to pick up the lightest lightest of the blues so that's that one up top there and keeping it more in my crease this time I am going to sweep that all the way from the outside to the inside now you can be a little bit messy with this part here uh, just because eventually I am going to be adding in um, other various, we're going to do like a gradation kind of effect. We're going to start with like the lightest blue here. I'm going to do some white on the inner corner going into this like whitish light blue into a bit of a brighter blue and then we're going to get into a deeper darker blue on the outside. I know that in the, ow, oh I just poked myself in the eye. I know that in the movie she does wear um, pretty much like two shades of blue, like there's the light kind of silvery blue in her cape and then a little bit brighter of one. Maybe I'm doing this reverse. No, yeah, no, I'm right. In like the, the cape part of her gown and then the brighter blue on her gown. She doesn't really have any dark, dark blues. But a lot of the movie too, and I think for sure for her, like biggest pride, proudest moments uh, of the movie, they do take place at night under like a like midnight blue sky. So I do want to bring in some of that as well. So that's where we're going right now with all of that blue. And then I'm going to take, I'm just trying to decide if I like, ooh, I think I want to use the color out of that Lorac palette again. And this one is in Starry Night. Uh, just seems really appropriate for what I was just talking about. It is a very shimmery blue. So that color, I'm going to start on the outer corner and blend kind of about halfway. And if you guys have watched me do looks like this before, you know that I also do like to bring some in a little bit. I like to use a circular motion, like a back and forth up in the crease and then a circular motion down on my actual lid. I haven't played with this palette in a while and I kind of actually forgot how amazing these shadows are. And this is actually the reason to why um, I wanted to try more Lorac products um, because unfortunately you it, they're really hard to get up in Canada. Uh, the Lorac website does not ship up here. And, um, you know, even when they bring their stuff onto Ulta, it also will not ship up to Canada. Like, they'll say, like, certain items in your cart will not ship, and those certain items always tend to be the Lorac ones. So there's a lot more blue there. Like that. So now we're going to go in with our deepest blue and I was looking at the colors and I don't want to go too, too, too dark. So I think we're going to use this color in the bottom. Uh, it is a darker blue, but it's also got a lot of those silver like hues to it. 
So even though it is definitely darker than the colors that I've got on my eyes right now, it's not going to um, overpower it too, too much. And we're just going to put that right on the outer corner like that. I actually need to look in a mirror. So it did get away from me a little bit out here, but I'm going to actually uh, leave it because I do intend on dragging some of that color downwards anyway. So I'll touch it up later on if it's still really bad, but for the most part, it can be fixed and nothing will ever be as bad as how much purple I got on my face in the last um, Disney series collab video that I did. So that's where we're at right now. I'm really liking the variation of the colors that uh, I picked. And you could really do this look um, using any color. Like this one's all in blues and is supposed to be super shimmery and wintry. But I could definitely see this working with greens or with purples. With, you know, the traditional one too would be just do it with browns if you're looking for more neutral. This is also the same basic kind of effect that you would use to get a really good smoky eye starting with the white in the middle going out to your darker grays and then there's a little trick from that I learned um I know everybody goes straight to that deep dark black on the outside if you're doing a smoky eye but maybe try doing it with like a light gray or no excuse me not a light gray like a very dark gray it they do tend to be a little more forgiving than um <laughs> you know, than a black is. Just as a little tip, that's what I tend to do. I do have a really dark black, but I find that I use gray more. So for a little bit of white, I'm going to take this MAC pigment. Now this particular one is in warm snow. So it's like a warm kind of a white color. And I did get this in a Christmas collection, but they definitely have very, very similar colors uh, available in their permanent line if you were looking for a white. So I'm going to take that into the corner and up and also a little bit down because I do want that white to be really, really stark in there. I have honestly loved doing this series for so many reasons. Uh, first of all, of course, because I love Disney and because I get to do it with Mickey and that is fun, it kind of gives us something that we can do together for a extended period of time. She actually emailed me a huge list of all of the Disney animated films. So this could be like a really long running series, which is fine by me. I love this so far. It's been so much fun. But the other thing I really like about it is it gives me a chance to go back through my makeup collection and find all this stuff that I forgot that I loved so much. Like, sorry, I'm just tilting that mirror or the, um, what's that thing called? A light? Duh. A little bit. Uh, it's been giving me a chance to go back into my collection and get use out of some of the products that I forgot I had. And it gives me a chance to kind of fall in love with them again and also decide maybe what products I don't like anymore. Uh, and then it gives me a better idea for when I do eventually decide to declutter my makeup. So, um... Now I, I'm really liking the way that this is looking. I am going to take that same little brush and I'm going to take pretty much the same three colors. So the light blue, uh, that dark blue and the bright blue out of the Lorac, the Lorac palette. And I'm going to smoke those under my eye a little bit. I don't want to get out of this white area though. So I'm going to put, oh, that went a little bit too low. I got to do this into here. So I'm going to do just a little bit of that light blue because I don't want to overpower the white. I want to make sure that that stays very, very strong. So a little bit of the light blue. Then I'm actually going to go for the darker blue next, and I'm going to take that and put it on the outer corner. And this is why I said I wasn't super, super concerned um, about fixing this business up here, because I kind of like that it's a little more out there it is a little wider a little more wild and untamed because that's the whole point of the movie is that she discovers herself and discovers she doesn't need to be so picture perfect she doesn't need to be um you know everything she wants to be or her parents always want her to be and told her to be she can just be herself sorry I did take 
some of that other uh, color that we had used from the Lorac palette and I put that in the middle to kind of just like blend it all together and keep it going seamlessly throughout. Now one thing I did forget to grab was my NYX white jumbo eye pencil so give me two seconds I'm going to go get that and uh, we're going to use that next. Alrighty, sorry about that. So I did go get my jumbo eye pencil in milk just because I do think I want to put it a little bit in my waterline just to keep some of that white going. Uh, I'm going to do it using my mirror, but I'm going to try and do it towards the camera just so you guys can see what I'm doing. Just like that, just to give it like a little bit more of that white. Um, like that. Super, super easy. Um, I know that a lot of people use these as eye bases and I do sometimes, but I do find it more useful to use in my waterline. Although I did just poke myself in the eye with it. Eh, that's okay. All right. So now I want to incorporate some of those shimmers and glitters that I was talking about before. I've just sort of been eyeing a bunch of them trying to decide what exactly I want to use. And I do think I want to try this dose of colors one, um, just because the color is so appropriately named and like, look at that. Look how shimmery it is. Now, I do have a second one. Uh, this is a MAC glitter pigment, but I do think I want to try this Dose of Colors one first and see how I like that. So I'm just picking it up. I wonder if I need Fix Plus for this. I don't think so. Can you guys see that? Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. These glitters are so finely ground. Like, they're definitely not chunky at all. I'm gonna end up with glitter all over my face today. That's okay. I accept. I accept that fact. Uh, and the other thing I really like about this is that it's not. And I'm sure you guys have noticed. It's not taking away any of the colors from below. Do you guys see that? Like how glittery that is. But none of the colors below have been shifted, or um, you know, none of how bright the colors are has been taken away with this glitter. It's almost just been like amplified. And again, you guys have seen, I've been going kind of far out. I'm trying to touch all of those bits. And if glitter falls on my face, this is gonna be one of those instances where I don't care because that is sort of the look I'm going for. I want it to be very wintry and very whimsical. Um, I am going to take, I do have a little bit of this blue glitter as well from MAC. I'm going to take a little itty bitty bit of that and just put it on the outside just to um, keep some of that blue really, really stark. But I do really like the way, and I should probably stop now um, with just this white glitter looking. Just a little bit out in the, out in the corners like that. Now, if I had actually been smarter earlier, I would have taken some of this and mixed the two together because I think that would have looked really pretty as well. So not a ton, just add a little bit there. So that is most of um, the eye look in terms of the shadows. I don't want this to be really dark at all. Like it is very, very, there's a lot of color. There's a lot of pigmentation, but I don't want it to be dark at all because that's not who she is. Um, the amount of sparkle that is all over my face that I can see out of corners of my eye right now is insane. Um, this is definitely not something I would wear every day, but it is perfect for Elsa. So I am going to actually take, um, a black liner and I'm going to do a very, I'm going to try and keep it really tight to um, my lash line on my upper eye and we will see how it goes and then I will come back and keep going because heaven knows I can't do this on camera. Okay, so I know you guys can't tell because obviously I edited it out, but that literally only took me about 30 seconds to get away and then come back to you guys. Normally it takes like 10 minutes because I do it and then I'm not happy with it and then I take it off and then I take off half my eyeshadow and then I have to fix it but that was actually fairly successful and the reason and I didn't say this earlier that I did end up deciding to go with a black liner is because if you actually look at pictures of her from the movie it almost looks like she has one um so I just decided to go with that now I do also have a silver liner this is another one of those mac ones that has like the sponge tip applicator so we are going to actually put a line of that I'm going to try and go over top of the black and then I was also like dabbling with seeing how tight I could get if I could get it to draw a snowflake. Um, I'm actually going to test it really quick on my hand and see how that goes before I screw up this entire look. 
Oh yeah, it's super thin. It seems like it might be really easy even just to do like a little star or something. Um, yeah, we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. Um, so first I am going to line above the black line. Again, I am going to do this more into a mirror, but I will cheat towards camera. So hopefully you guys can still see what I'm doing. If you know what I'm saying. Okay. So I did do it, but honestly, it's getting pretty lost in the sparkle um, because there's already so much glitter on my eyes, but I'm going to do it on the other one because I might as well just keep them exactly the same now. So it's if you didn't see what I did, I'm going to just try and do it into the camera. Let's just see what happens. I just took it and went right above the black. So it's almost like a double liner. So it's like a line of the black and then a line of the silver. And now I'm going to definitely take some and let's do, huh, I feel like this is the side that like you see her looking at from the most because that's where her hair is. So we're going to put the snowflake over here. Uh, you guys wish me luck. This I have to do into a mirror. I can't, I can't do it like that, but I'm going to make it so you guys can see it for sure. So it's really, really subtle for sure, but it picks up a little bit of light. If you guys can see that, I'll kind of try and show you there. It's also not the most uh, amazing snowflake. I pretty much just did a cross and then some lines through it. It almost looks more like a star than anything else. Um, I am not artistic. I don't claim to be. So that's what we're left with. Now, if I were feeling more adventurous, I would say it would be really pretty to actually just do a ton of snowflakes. Like all around one eye in particular, like go down with them and up and into the look, but I don't want to screw up what I've already got going. I don't want to push my luck. So we're going to leave that there. I'm going to put on mascara. And for this, I don't want to put on false lashes, but I do want to have very separated, very long lengthy lashes. So we're going to use Benefit Roller Lash first. And I like to use this just to get some really good separation with my lashes so that they all stand very far apart from each other. And the brush is also small enough that I can do a little bit on my lower lash line. Do the same over here. And then I'm going to take my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I'm going to coat over top of that and that'll just give it some uh, volume and extra length. Give me those big, pretty Disney eyelashes that we all love so much. Like that. So for blush today, uh, because I'm trying to stick with this whole glittery, very whimsical look, I did choose uh, a MAC Extra Dimension blush. So these ones do have a little bit of shine and shimmer in it. This one is in the shade Fairly Precious. It was the pinkest one I had that was also the lightest that I had. So I don't want it to overpower what I've already got. So just a little itty bit. And that way I don't lose any of the shine that I've got going on in the look already. But it does give me a little bit of color. And for highlight today, we are going to do a liquid followed by a powder highlight uh, for the liquid. Now I don't know, and I'm pretty sure this isn't how these are supposed to be used. I'm like 90% sure you're supposed to mix these into your foundation, but since I've gotten them, I've just been using them as standalone highlights. So these are the Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops, and this one is in Halo. So it's like this white that shifts to like a bluey purple color. Perfect for this look. So I just take, because it comes on like a dropper, I just take a little bit on my finger like sorry guys the recording stopped for some reason I'm not too sure why uh, so like I was saying I just took a little bit on my finger like that and then I'm gonna go put a dot there and drag it all the way down the bridge of my nose now this is gonna be super super glowy um, but that's been what this whole look has been about is being sparkly 
and shimmery and so I am totally fine with that definitely brush it up in that cupid's bow then I'm going to take a little bit more now at this point sometimes I do just put it straight on my face and then dot away after but um not today we're going to just be very very liberal with it and put it up that cheekbone there do you guys see all that glow and then we're going to do the same on this side and uh, today, too, I didn't mention it, but I should tell you now that before I put my makeup on to get this super glowy look, uh, I did put on some MAC strobe cream. I used the Silver Light. And I also, uh, afterwards, because I used my Natasha Denona Glow Foundation, so it does have some inherent, like, shimmer in it, I mixed that with my Marc Jacobs uh, highlighter dewdrop things. And then I also took my Natasha Denona Glow Powder, my face powder, and I brush that all over my face as well. And then for a bronzer, I went with my hourglass bronzing, like luminous bronzing powder, because there's some shimmer in it as well. So then as a powder highlight, we are going with this MAC one again. I know I used this in another video recently, and this is in Soft Frost. So I'm going to take a bigger, fluffier highlighting brush. This is my Natasha Denona one. And we're going to just pop up that highlight as well. So that this is a super glowy, like, wintry princess kind of a look which is kind of exactly what we're going for and I'm going to come back into the light that I have here just so you guys can see how shimmery how glowy uh this look is and of course as per usual I don't have setting spray because I always forget to bring it so at this point I would recommend that you obviously set your makeup and I will be doing that after but that is going to be the completed look for today um honestly I think with this look in particular I had a better time focusing on the face makeup oh no you know what I forgot lipstick the look's not done for a lip color today I'm using this color C sheer it is a matte color it's kind of like a um like a watermelon pink and the reason that I chose this is because it is a nice wash of color but it is a lighter pink she does wear a similar color in the movie it's like a watermelony kind of a pink lipstick like that and because this is a luster finish um it's not super super pigmented it goes on as more of like a stain of color than a real real like really bold lipstick which is perfect because we don't want to take anything else away so like I was saying for this look in particular I actually had more fun getting the super glowy skin and the highlighting and stuff than I did the eyes but I am in love with how this look turned out it is so wintry so so Elsa in my opinion this has probably been my favorite look that I've done so far close it's a close tie between the look I did last week for Pocahontas because I loved that I'm losing my mind my thing keeps shutting off so yeah for my first attempt at a halo eye I think it went really well so this is going to be the look for today I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do this I've been loving this series and I hope you guys love it too if you guys have any suggestions for what movie you guys want to see next leave it down below Hit the thumbs up button, like this video, subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.